again, known weight, yep. known distance, and when I drop it, it's going to drive the, the point into the ground. Yep. Seems dense. So that was 15, yeah. yep. and I'm still not even to the first increment. Yeah. Right? So I'm, it's strong. Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, so we're looking good so far. That's right. Yeah. Hey guys, David Webb here with Copper Builders. You guys, got an exciting day today. We're meeting with uh, John Moscati of GTA, um, a, a soils uh, engineer uh, here in the Charlotte market. We're gonna check out a home site for one of our clients. The home site's in a developed neighborhood on Lake Norman. We'll see when we get there, very little trees cleared out, very well graded for a, a walkout basement scenario. Uh, so hopefully the soils check out well and we can keep um, providing our clients some very positive feedback on what we're finding with their home site. Come on, let's check it out. So this is a, a great um, piece of property as far as um, the topography, the view, is, the location, all of these are A plus for this property. The home site itself is not actual waterfront, it's more of a golf course view lot, but it has an incredible water view from it. The one downside to it is just kind of the, the home site orientation and shape and the building envelope. It's creating a little bit of challenge getting the house designed properly for the desired home and footprint the desired garage. So as far as what yes. you yeah, have laid out here, is this, this is the building envelope. Okay, this is what we truly have staked out here, not the house itself. So really anywhere within this envelope is at this point in time, fair game for the home. One of the most important steps that we do with our client early on when we've identified the home site where we want to build a home is, is have the soils checked out. And it's checked out by a, a professional soils engineer. And it's all designed to make sure that the soils are strong enough to support the weight of the future home we want to build. I'll be performing some hand auger borings to kind of op open up the ground. I'll look at the soil conditions. Um, we perform uh, a soil compaction test or density test using a dynamic cone pentrometer or DCP. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I would consider this really just a preliminary soil evaluation. Like you said, we don't know where the house is going, um, you know, where our locations are just generally to give you an idea of what's in the ground and what Absolutely. to expect. Have you, have you ever done this before? I mean, I see your equipment is brand new. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I used well, to be able to get these done the, uh, pretty quick. This might take a little got, bit longer. Not anymore. No, no. It's all in the technique. Back in the day. Yeah, it's all in the technique. The technique. They're basically uh, augering down underneath the top layer of soil. If we run into bad soils, depending on the severity of them, we may have to dig through them. We may have to drop pilings or caissons through that. It can be upwards of $30,000 in extra uh, cost to the foundation itself. So as I, as I pull the soil out, I can make a description and say, you know, maybe there's an inch of topsoil, grass or vegetation, some browns, some reds, maybe some tans. Maybe you can see a little bit of shininess. Yeah. That's mica in the soil. Um, as I get into it a little bit further, I'll, I'll make a better description of what's underneath. What I'm noticing now is that it's not digging so easily. <laughs> Um, well, Stefan, he works out every day, so, so uh, if you need some, if you need some help, right there, right there. Right there. <laughs> hey man, whatever it takes. Uh, yeah. Wait, let's see. Wade wants to. Wants you got a stopwatch? Let's, let's get, get this going. going. <laughs> now we need to get this next one down four feet. Yeah, yeah. That? Four feet. This time. You, <laughs> can, you can give it a little bit of pressure. Just don't really bear down on uh, yeah. the yeah. handle. What he's saying don't is that you're material. doing it wrong. Is what he's trying to tell you. I want a very professional evaluation of what you're seeing here. Well, you see, there's lots of. Marbling. Dirt. Marbling. There's yes. dirt. There's a lot of dirt in here. There's <laughs> some brown and some red. And I know the shiny stuff is mica. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if that's good or not. I'm seeing, but uh, I know it's in there. Right. So a little bit of staining on my fingers. That's a giveaway for moisture and clay. Um, but it is not it's not rolling up like Play-Doh, right? I think you've got a really nice soil. If you were going to use this for 
fill in some other place. It's great. Yep. Um, but um, yeah, everything. Looks I, I think good. I figured out the reason that Stefan doesn't know much about the dirt. I think he needs your vest. If you if you can put in your vest on him, I think his, his brain power. Are you being hazed today? What's going on? I, I am. I am. <laughs> What do you uh, got there? So, <laughs> yeah, what is that thing? Pretty basic uh, uh, dynamic cone pentrometer. Normally, people just call it a hammer. It is a, a known weight in the sleeve. Um, the known weight is raised a known distance and then released, and it drives the point of the DCP into the ground. So, I'm recording the number of blows that it takes the point to go three increments, which is what's been marked off here. Seems dense. So that was 15. Yeah. Yep. And I'm still not even to the first increment. Yeah. Right. So it's strong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you're saying you'd feel comfortable building your own house here? I would yeah. on this one look. On this, this one corner. This little <laughs> teeter top. <Right. laughs> um, um, so we're looking good so far. That's right. Yeah. The soil's checked out fantastic. We could not have been more pleased with what we saw there. You never know what you're going to find. Being on the cul-de-sac of the end of the street, we said, hey, there could be all kinds of soils, mixed soils dumped here. Wasn't the case. This stuff was beautiful, uh, perfect for building a home on. Uh, and furthermore, we're gonna be cutting more of that out in order to put the basement on so we feel like it's only going to improve from what we're able to see on site. So all of that, uh, check the box. We now work through the remainder of our kind of upfront home site evaluations over the next handful of weeks be able to provide that back to the client with a final cost of the home and at that point we'll be able to move forward on the purchase agreement pulling permits and breaking ground on construction so guys thanks for your time today this is david webb with copper builders director of uh, off-site construction and i hope you found this educational and helpful i want you to know we've got lots more of this type of educational uh, material on our website please go there check it out i hope it helps you in your search for the perfect home site <laughs> Rite of passage. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta do funny stuff and put it on YouTube. <laughs> Whatever it takes. <laughs> nice.